Hi, and welcome to Taste Panel Volume 1 for Chili Nerds. Uh, today I have a product, Nagasaurus. Okay, this hot sauce, uh, well I have to admit that I uh, kind of cheated on this one a little bit. I know what it tastes like. Uh, normally I'll have a uh, new bottle to run through with you. But, uh, in this case, I uh, had this for a little over a week and already uh, it's almost gone. So, uh, there's enough in here to taste, and as I'd hate to double up on hot sauces, as there are so many out there. Uh, we're going to go ahead with this one and uh, maybe finish off this bottle. Alright, um, this product again, Nagasaurus. It is from K. John's Fiery Foods, which is based out of Columbus, Ohio. And uh, it has a little bit of a warning on the label here, so let's take a look at that. Okay, warning. This is a fiery sauce as vicious as the creature portrayed on its label, which is a raptor with pepper fangs and claws. Uh, it's a tasty blend made with the world's two hottest chilies. This raptor-esque elixir will devour your taste buds and leave a fiery trail through your system. And bite once more when leaving. Watch out, it could leave you with a sore ass. Nagasaurus. Okay, uh, what's in this is uh, chilies, red savinas, and nagajolokias. All right, vinegar, onion, tomatoes, lemon juice, garlic, salt, and spices. All right, let's take a smell of this. Let's see how it goes. All right. Nagasaurus kind of has a uh, uh, kind of a tangy vinegar smell. Uh, I can smell some garlic in there, underlying tomatoes. However, the main thing you smell is the chilies, of course, and uh, I smell the combination of both the uh, habaneros and the jalokia. Kind of sort of smells like a souped up Tabasco sauce. So uh, I brought my spoon. I'm going to have a little taste of this. Hopefully I have enough to fill the spoon. Okay, the uh, consistency is a uh, medium body, sort of like a A1 steak sauce. Uh, the color is a burnt orange. Uh, not too chunky, there's a little chunk to it. But uh, I could see the, the various spices in it, but uh, no seeds, anything like that. So, without further ado, we'll give this a go. It uh, sort of tastes like it, uh, like it smells. Uh, I'm getting a, an initial blast of uh, tangy vinegar with spices. Uh, chili's kick in almost right away. Uh, heat factor, I'm not feeling too much in the back area of the throat. Uh, what happened was my bottom lips got it right away. I got a zing across my lips. Uh, ah, sides of my tongue, maybe, making their way forward to the front of the tongue. A little bit, a little bit along the top ridge of my lip. Um, I'm not going to say this, this, is, this is necessarily the hottest sauce in the world. Um, definitely nothing drastic. Uh, I would think it would be hotter with the with the pepper combination, but the flavor is really what counts here. Uh, obviously, you see, I had this uh, just over a week, and I'm already down with it. This is works excellently with uh, chicken wraps and put some on some Spanish rice. Uh, provides some heat, and uh, but you're getting mainly the flavor. Uh, kind of getting a lingering garlicky tomato flavor, almost like a almost like a pasta sauce or something. Uh, the vinegar gives it a Tabasco type flavor. Um, heat's building a little, kind of coating over the whole of my tongue at this point. Um, lips are feeling a burn across the lips. Um, stretching back maybe a hair just in the very back of my throat, but again, not, nothing that, uh, nothing too drastic here. So, uh, 
This one here is all about the flavor. Uh, again, not like a sore ass. Uh, very good. Uh, okay, and also remember that uh, everything we own belongs to God, and we are stewards of God's property, so even with our hot sauce. So remember, love Jesus, and you see the fun I'm having, try this at home. Okay, bye. Uh, eight minutes have elapsed, and I'm um, back with Nagasaurus from Fiery Foods by uh, K. Johns from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, what I'm feeling now, after the time has passed, uh, got a little bit of a little bit of a burn going in here. Uh, my mouth still has sides of my tongue. Little little burn going on. Not nothing too great. Uh, what's left though? What's what's the good part? What's left is the uh, Oh, the intense peppery flavors. The uh, spicy vinegar has kind of died down, and, and I'm really tasting those hobs and those the, the jalokia peppers just lingering on my tongue, flavor-wise, not heat-wise. Uh, I love this sauce. I mean, this is... I would get this again. Uh, Nagasaurus. You can see it's really going down. So, uh, go ahead. Buy this one.